Hi all, this is Max from ZetoMax.com. Today um, I'm going to show you how to uh, clean out your um, CPU fan on your desktop PC. Uh, this one is my uh, Linux box that I have. It's from Acer. I just got it from Fry's or something. Yeah. Anyway, most PCs are pretty easy. Um, for this one, there's like one, two, three, four screws. Um, so just take those screws out. So let me take those screws out. So, and the, once, you know, the case should come off pretty easily. You, I think that's the, that's the, there's two fans usually, a CPU fan and the case fan, which is on, you know, pulls the air out from the CP, uh, the, your computer itself. So now I, yeah, this comes off real easy here. Well, here, see how it's coming off? So... Usually, um, you'll see that there's a big fan. Don't worry about the case fan. It's usually the uh, the CPU fan that you have to worry about. So let me this way. So it's gotta find that where the CPU fan is connected. For, for for example, this one has is actually connected to the motherboard down there. So I'm just gonna pull this out. You know. Okay, it's pulled it pulled out right. So, and then there's four screws for uh, the CPU fan. So, I'm just going to unscrew these. So, let me put this right here. Um, so, start with the top one. Uh, CPU fans are probably the number one leading cause why you're computer starts running slow one day and plus you know cleaning your CPU fan might make your computer last longer too because, uh, you know these things are practically made to last forever usually it's the hardest that dies you know, especially um, so now you see the uh, the CPU and see uh, look at the CPU fan here actually it's not too bad so um, but for, for, if you want to clean it, you can get the four screws out there of the fan, which I'll do just for demonstration, and I'll just clean it. So, do that. Basically, the fan doesn't really get dirty. It's the metal fin thing, the, the coolant thing. This works like a, you know, if you know about cars... Um, turbos. Turbo cars use uh, uh, intercoolers. Basically this is the intercooler for your computer. Because uh, the fan drives the air, uh, the cold air, to the, uh, to the to your intercooler. Well, in this example the metal fins. And then it will cool down the metal which is connected to your PC. And then it will, you know, cool down your PC. The way uh, these new CPUs are now designed is that they can't run without uh, these big cooling things. You know, if they run by the cell, they'll probably just, you know, just, you know, die. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm just going to use my hand here because there's not that much. But sometimes if you have this all covered, that probably means, you know, it's going to really slow down your computer. And it might even freeze up sometimes. But um, this isn't too bad. Then I'm just going to blow it out over here. So, I'm not going to actually clean it all that well, because, you know, it's pretty clean. It's not that bad, you know. If you, this thing's been running, like, straight. I just leave it on because it's my Ubuntu Linux box, you know, so I can connect it from anywhere and download stuff. Anyway, I just use my hand. Now look look at how it's clean it is. You can see through, right? So that's all good, and the CPU itself, it's not that dirty, so I'm just going to put it back on. But um, you should do this every six months, or um, or every uh, every year, it's fine too. Uh, I probably haven't done this for this one, I don't use it much. Uh, this is probably the first time in eight months, so it's probably the right time to do it. 
but you know, in my whole lifetime of running, you know, using computers since my first computer, which was a 386 2X, I've actually never seen a CPU failure before, which means CPUs are pretty darn reliable so long as, you know, I put water on it or something. Anyway, doing this really quick here. So I'll just put all the screws back. You know. And a lot of people think, you know, computers are hard to, you know, whatever use, but they're not. They're pretty simple. Laptops are pretty a little bit more complicated, but they're pretty simple too. Because, you know, computers are made by people. You know, if they want to diagnose it, it should come off pretty easily. So they're all secure, you know, it's working now. Let's get rid of this one little dust thingy. You know, you're, you, you might want to also clean your fans. Oh, it's that dirty. So you just make sure it's nicely um, on, on there, and then just put it back in there. Do and just screw it back in. These things are a little springy. Then do a little bit one side at a time, just like you do a car wheel or something. Um, you know, you wanna. Oops, I'm having a little bit of trouble here. This one's kind of weird because it's got springs. It's got a little springing action, so it's you know, nice and secure. Actually, I haven't done this in a while. I, I just cleaned my other HP laptop, which I mainly use. And, uh, oh God, what am I feeling? There we go. Also, if you have, uh, live in where there's carpet, make sure you ground yourself. Just touch like the metal part before you, you know, screw unscrew anything, because uh, you can easily burn the ch any. Part of the chips, but but once you're grounded, you can you know you're fine. Anyway, so I put this PCPU fan back in there. Let me put the fan back in there. Great. So put it back in there. Usually snaps only one way, so not such a big big deal. So now I got it all connect it. Now my CPU is going to cool just like new. Then let me put the case back. Actually, use only two screws here because um, I like to open my computer. I like easy access. You know, some people are so anal and they put all the screws, but I usually like only use one. Um, let's put two screws. And let's boot it up. And see if it works. You know, it works better. So let me put this thing. Supposed to run. Oops. So put it back there. Let me connect all the connectors back. Uh, this is my 
monitor. This is my keyboard. No mouse. Keyboard. Uh, Ethernet. And power. That's it. Let me see. Power. Power it up. And then I power it up. Um, I actually have this uh, box which lets me connect four computers to a monitor and keyboard. So it's actually on two. So it's going to boot up. There we go. There's my Ubuntu Linux running. Um, it's an Ubuntu system. So, you know, if, you, if your computer starts, you know, s slowing down a lot, you know, it's probably your CPU fans. And so a lot of people, sometimes what they do, they think it's, you know, the computer's dead or, you know, sell it on Craigslist for hell cheap or something or whatever. But, you know, this will solve most of your computer problems, uh, even laptops. Uh, so I hope that helps. And, you know, <clears throat> it's not that hard to uh, replace CPU fans. So, see y'all later. Well, let me show you just uh, that the computer is running. Cool. So, I'm Ubuntu. So, see y'all later.